There's a lot of bad people in this world, and probably a lot who are much worse than Cyrax, but he's definitely one of the worst around. And I think a good story that sums that up is a story that we're going to get into today, because there's a lot of stories that make Cyrax sound like a piece of shit and truthfully make him look like a piece of shit because he's a piece of shit. But there's one story in particular that really sums up everything, and I think it's just a, a good reason why and good reason where you can point to people and say, yo, this is why people don't like that cat, that Cyrax dude over there. And it's the story of him talking to someone who he thought was a 14-year-old girl. Now, this is going to get pretty dark. It's going to get pretty funny, but it's also going to get pretty dark. So, it's more than you now. We're going to show you a few clips here. We're going to react to them, and uh, we're just going we're gonna to see where it goes. So, this is right after Cyrax got exposed and word started going around. He wanted to go confront the person who uh, posed as the 14-year-old. And here's the result. Hi, Cyrax. Hi, bitch. What the fuck is your goddamn <laughs> problem, you damn comeback? I Why don't the really care for pedophiles. Shut the fuck right. up. Why are you doing this shit? Oh, wait, I know. It's because you want me off the internet. All right, Cyrax, I don't, I do want you off the internet because you're unsafe to be around children. Um, you are a sexual predator. And you need to calm down, ma'am. I don't think he even knows that he's muted right now. As is the case in almost every call Sarax is in, he's, he's so angry, he's filled with so much piss and vinegar that he just can't stop talking even though he knows he can't be heard. It's just it's just kind of a thing in his head, he just has to keep on talking just to get his words out even if no one else can hear him. Because in Sarax's head, as long as you keep talking, as long as you keep talking over the other person and their words can't get out in your mind, then you've already won the battle. Wow, wow, fucking wow. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Seriously, you know damn well you don't want me on the internet because you don't like me. So what do you do? You pretend to be a fucking 14 year old and trap me knowing that I got fucking problems, bitch. Knowing that- You're a okay. pedophile, Chance, yeah. and you're yeah. a sexual deviant. Right, yeah. You don't belong yeah. on the internet, you belong in an institution, or at least in some serious clinical help. Yeah, no, the reason that we don't want you on the internet is because you um, go after children. And send them to your dick. Wow, uh, wow, wow. Here's the deal, you don't come back, little bitch. One, you know damn well I did nothing to you to warrant what you fucking did. I didn't. No chance, but you did send your dick to what you thought was a 14 year old girl. In that little clip right there, Cyrax does something that he's going to be doing a lot throughout the course of this video, and that's deflecting on the issue, acting like it's not a big deal, just as pretending like everyone who did it to him, everyone who like exposed him for being a pedophile, is a problem. Like he he doesn't quite understand that what he did is worse than what they did. He thinks them setting him up is the real issue here, not the fact that he actually he tried to do something with someone who he thought was 14. Another thing Cyrax does is he says, you know, you know he has problems and you did this to him. When he says you know he has problems, he's not talking about the problems that you see when you just see him on screen. Like, the obvious problems. Like, like I mean, shit, just look at him. The dude has a lot of fucking issues. And I'm not, I'm not making fun of that, it's just the fact. I mean, you look at it, let's look at him. He's got his problems. But the problems he's talking about are just, like, problems at home, like he always says. Like, you know, he has to help out his family, he has to do all this shit. Even though he just sits in his room all day, it's really, really Chris Chan-like shit if you look at it that way. And then finally, you got the dude screaming about, you know, well, I never did anything to you. How could you do this to me? As if, you know, like I said, like, a pedophile's got to do something to you first for you to want to, like, expose them. It's just, just a ridiculous thought, and it's something that something that Cyrax can't really comprehend, you know? He's just going to constantly think the other person is a problem, and any normal, rational thinking person can see that he is 100% the problem. Yeah, her, her actions don't really need a reason. You're the one who took the bait. You're the one who sent your fucking penis and asked for nudes from a 14-year-old girl. There's no reason, you know, that anyone has to go after a, pred uh, a predator except the fact that predators need to be exposed, and that's what you are. Wow, you, you really think you're going to get away with this shit, you fucking bitch-ass cunt? Do you, you think you're going to? See, I here's show your you deal, bitch. I'm here's your problem, you fucking bitch. And don't okay. you goddamn dare me either. Because I okay. want you to fucking hear this shit. Okay, what you really did, you know what you were doing. You know what the fuck you were doing. You know you didn't like me. 
So what do you do? You sit there and you fucking trick me. Everyone who knows me knows that I'm not a goddamn pedophile. You fucking tricked me into that shit. I love that Cyrax says, you know, ask the people around me, ask my friends, they'll tell you I'm not a pedophile. When I bet you even the closest friend of Cyrax, if you asked him about this, would be like, eh. I mean, I mean, it's a toss up. It's a toss up. He might be. But and then he goes on to say that this girl, Masshole, the, the one who set him up for this, she tricked him. She tricked him. Well, yeah, that's what these pedo sting operations are. But Cyrax, like I said, he doesn't see he doesn't see that what he did was the issue, and the fact that he got tricked is just more of a fact that he's a fucking dumbass. He sees it as the problem is that you tricked me. You know, I fell for it. That doesn't make me a bad guy. That makes you a bad person for tricking me. Whereas, like you know, a lot a lot of these predator catches usually start that way. Like if you ever watched to catch a predator any of these youtubers who catch predators at first the people usually are like oh come on man like you tricked me you set me up and then it dawns in on them what they did it, it, it will never dawn in on cyrax never once he will always think he's in the right and it will stay that way till the day he dies so i'm showing right here chance where you sent the uh the dick pic and as it turns out nobody asked for it so can you can you explain why you sent a why you sent a jerk off video when it wasn't asked for and how that is entrapment oh bitch Shut the fuck up! For real! No matter what you say to him, if you have proof of anything, if you're pressing an issue, his response will always be something vitriolic like shut the fuck up or an insult. Cyrax is just such a he's such a hateful little person. But on the screen beforehand, you saw a text that said, oh, I'm 30 something, but I look like I'm 14. And that may get people to go, huh, well, she said she was 30. That That's, that's it's legal then. But the thing is, you know, as is most of these predator catches, usually they like, they say they're an older age and they bring it down and as you can see on screen now there's there's definitely another thing here that they sent that makes cyrax look not not too well it's it's the classic your turn cutie text log and um just it's, it's just terrible it's just terrible when you look at it so know that you know cyrax is 100 percent not not innocent here but i wanted to bring this up because if you're looking at the other one you might be thinking like oh shit what's that well no no cyrax still did say shit after they said they were 14 so yeah that's yeah, just uh, it's fucking weird you sat there and pretended knowing Knowing that I was going through enough already, you need to back off. For real, knock the shit off. You sat there and pretended and admitted on Marty's stream. No, shut the fuck up. You admitted on Marty's <laughs> fucking stream that you don't like me. You hey, admitted Cyrus. that shit and then you would do whatever it took. Hey, now because Cyrus. of you, I'm labeled as something I'm not. Which is Cyrus. bullshit. Because Cyrus. of you, I tried to take my. Ma'am, ma'am, you need to calm down, take a seat, okay? Seriously. I like that he thought the dog barking was someone talking and he said, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's actually fucking he's idiot. Like, as you can see, all Cyrax is going to do is yell, scream, bitch, and moan. And that was directed at the person who was, like, setting him up. That was a person named Masshole Report, or otherwise known as Kate. You're going to be hearing Cyrax talk a lot about her in this video, because now we jump from him talking directly to her to him just ranting and raving in his room to a live stream. So, like, there's a lot of a lot of good Cyrax freakouts that come from this time period, because, you know, he had a lot to freak out about. So let's jump into that now. Is this how y'all motherfuckers want to play it, right? Is this how y'all fucking cowards want to play it? Huh? This is how you fucking cowards want to play it? You want to sit there and turn my friends against me like bitches? Is that it? And here we go once again with Cyrax blaming everyone else for something that is clearly his fault. You know, if you get outed for being a pedophile, if you get outed for talking to a fucking someone who you thought was a 14-year-old girl, obviously your friends are most likely going to not want to have anything to do with you anymore. And what Cyrax is mad about is not that, like, you know, he did all this. It's that people are letting his friends know that he did all this. Like, that's the problem here, ladies and gentlemen. You know, you keep your mouth shut about Cyrax's pedo shit or else you're the asshole. 
Hey Mary, watch your mouth, you fucking pussy. Shut that goddamn mouth before I fucking shut up for you. One of my favorite things Cyrax does is act like the people in chat are actually right there in front of him. So he says, like, you know, he'll beat their fucking ass. He'll punch them right in the face, shit like that. It's just, you know, you know if that guy actually was there, Cyrax would be shitting his pants. Like he did every time Marty showed up to his house. Just, you know. I'm tired of y'all niggas fucking going after my goddamn friends. Y'all pussies need to grow up and leave my personal life. Oh, alone. Y'all niggas need to live my personal life alone. Because of y'all fucking pussies, Kate the fucking cunt bag, bitch. Because of that little bitch cunt bag, I've been losing friends all goddamn day. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to press the issue again. It's just so ridiculous. He's blaming the person who exposed him for being a pedophile on him, on people not liking him for being a pedophile. It's like shooting yourself in the foot and then screaming at the gun manufacturer, being like, you know, like, ah, oh, you fucker, why would you do this? Like, like, what is wrong with you? Like, he doesn't, he doesn't understand it. This falls on him, and he'll never take accountability for anything, so I don't know why I'm, why I'm asking for it, but still, just come on. I've had to tell friends to ignore the Thunderdome chat all fucking day long. So yo, Kate, get your little ass pussy friends the fuck away from me and mine. I'm sick of it, man. I'm sick of losing friends because of you little bitches. You little bitch made fucking pussies want to sit there and attack my friends, turn my friends against me, turn my family against me, all for what? All for what? A joke? All because you can't let go of what happened? Like, are you, is he fucking serious? He does this all the time. He always says, like, why can't you just let it go? I said my piece. I apologize. Like, this is just a few hours and maybe a few days. I'm, I'm not sure the exact time frame, but it's, it's, it's not even a week since after he got exposed for this shit. And he's saying, like, you know, you just gotta let it go. You gotta, just gotta sweep it under the rug. This doesn't matter, guys. What matters, though, is all you people trolling me, though. But, but me actually doing this shit and being a creep doesn't fucking matter. At the beginning there, he's mad about having to tell his friends to avoid a certain Discord chat because people will tell them about the shit he did. You know, says all of his anger is completely misdirected, but like, it's Cyrax. Of course it's going to be misdirected because he, he doesn't know genuinely how to take his own... Like, he, he doesn't know how to take any accountability. We've already brought that up, but it's just... It's so wild to see he'll blame fucking everybody in the world before he turns that finger on himself. But him bringing up that his family is, like, turning it back on him, I doubt that. His family are, are, are pretty big creeps, too, you know? Remember, Cyrax is a third-generation pedo. Granddad was a pedo, dad was a pedo, runs in the family. You're a bunch of pussies! You're a bunch of comeback pussies! Yeah, I fucked up! I made a mistake! Big fucking deal. You ain't perfect. You ain't perfect, bitch. Like, seriously, he acts like it's such a non-issue. He's going with the whole, you know, everyone makes mistakes <laughs> excuse. Acting like, you know, you're not perfect. You're not perfect. Everyone's done this at least once in their lives. So everyone's talked to a fucking minor. You know, he's, he's such... <laughs> He's such a fucking weirdo because you know, you know, deep down, deep down, he wants to believe that he's the good guy still, that everybody else is the bad guy. But at the same time, it's just when he says shit like that, it's, it's just so ridiculous because like, how can you possibly think that this is just something that, you know, this is just up, oh, it happens, you know, we gotta, gotta you live and you learn, I guess. Like, no, no, not at all. You ain't motherfucking perfect. You ain't perfect, so quit acting like you are. Can we just admire the theatrics here? The just the fucking, this is how he's looking so serious, like he's really proven a point. Right, wait until he puts that finger up, just to show you all a lesson. Look at that.
Look at that. Cause you ain't. You ain't perfect, bitch. You want to sit here and go after me? Go after me, but leave my friends the fuck alone. And stay the fuck off my goddamn Facebook, bitch. We gotta go ahead and give a big round of applause and thank the heroes that let Cyrax's friends, who most likely were in the dark and not not privy to the fact that they had like a predator on their friends list, you, you gotta appreciate the effort people went to to save those people, so thank you to anyone who was there that day, you know, you, you did a great job in letting Cyrax's friends know that. Now, Cyrax thinks you're a piece of shit, but, but the rest of the world thinks you're a hero, ladies and gentlemen. You ain't shit! You know you ain't shit! You wanna know what really happened? That little comeback king made a, a grow chat on Facebook called Thunderdome, right? Well, guess what this comeback decided to turn around and do? Add my friends to it. Turn my friends against me. So now I done lost half my goddamn friends because of this bitch. Yo, Kate, grow up, bitch. So, so basically, I get it now. So this Kate person, the person who exposed Cyrax, made a Facebook group chat, told all Cyrax's friends about it, and obviously, most of these people weren't going to be cool with it. I assume most of these people were trolls in the first place. So, like, it's not too obvious that they turned their backs on Cyrax, but once again, like, blaming the people who exposed him for the shit he did. It's just it's classic Cyrax, uh, classic Cyrax 101 here. And that ain't even the worst of it. That ain't even the worst of it. This bitch flat out told me, flat out told me, the only way she would leave me alone is if I cut my goddamn dick off. That's the only way that she would leave me alone is if I cut my dick off. You tell me that ain't fucked up. You tell me that ain't a load of shit. You know, if we're being completely honest, that does seem like a pretty fair trade-off for being a pedo, you know? If, if you want to be a pedo, you gotta be willing to go through what Cyrax just said there. But, <laughs> I gotta be honest, that did come out of nowhere. I should, I, should, I mean, I didn't, I didn't really think that was where this was gonna go. I thought she would've, like, fucked with him and told him to get off the internet. Didn't know she went <laughs> that route with it, but, uh, yeah, you know, like, Cyrax is not fucking with this person, you know? He thinks they ruined his life, even though he kind of ruined his life by doing this bullshit. So, there's still a lot more for us to look at here though but just know that very soon Cyrax is gonna you're gonna see Cyrax's real true colors and see just just the lengths he would go to to get rid of all this bullshit to get rid of this person who uh he sees as someone who wronged him tremendously it don't matter what my actions were that don't matter that's irrelevant My actions shouldn't determine what this bitch does. What? Did you forget that I came out and wrote that wrong? Did you forget that I came out and wrote that wrong? Did you forget that I came out and admitted my wrong? Did you forget that? Did you forget that I came out and admitted what I did? So shy time, if I were you, I'd shut your ass up right now, little boy. He's so goddamn delusional. Like, it, just in the beginning there, can you believe he'd say that? Like, it doesn't matter what my actions were. My actions shouldn't dictate what she does to me. You know, it, he doesn't want to be held accountable for anything. Like, he always has an excuse for everything he does. He always acts like it's someone else's fault. When he always gets in these arguments with Marty, he always uses and he always tries to fall back on, well, look, it's because you make me feel this way, so I have to do these things. He always is someone else 
else to fucking blame this on. And for him to act like his actions don't matter and they shouldn't do anything, it's just another one of his many copes. And it's this is like one that you'll rarely ever see him pull because he's literally backed into like this the fucking sharpest corner he's ever been into. And it's just it's amazing to hear him say that, you know? And then, unbelievably, he jumps back to the whole, I've already made that wrong right, guys, you know, he's already done, he's already admitted to his faults and everything. All he does is say, yeah, I fucked up and move on, and that to him is like, alright, well, I did enough now, now I can move on with my life and that's that. But anyone else's issue, he's gotta press that shit home, you know? He'll be sure to still bitch about this mass hole girl, like, forever, but his issues, you shouldn't bring that up even, like, a couple minutes after they happen, because that's that's in the past. Yeah, what I did was wrong. What the fucking do? I'm not fucking perfect. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Yes, Cyrax, that's right. We are all not perfect. But unlike you, and I assume the 100% of people watching this video, no one here has talked to a fucking minor. So, you know, at least we have that over you. We all make mistakes, people! Grow up! We all make mistakes! We're all human! Yeah, I don't know about that one, Cyrex. Your little crackhead ass kind of looks, looks pretty out there. Grow up, you bitch ass cowards! Y'all are a bunch of pussies! Oh, yes, I do, Shy Town, you fucking. I decide that shit! Not you, you bitch ass pussy! I decide that! I decide that, and those that stand behind me decide that. Not your punk ass bitch. So sit the fuck down and shut up. Hello? Yo fucking pussies need to leave me alone. I got, I got to admit, I love the little hello when he picks up the phone, like, all normally. And then once he realizes no one's on the other line, he just goes right back to fucking screaming. It's just, you know he can shut that shit off if he wants to, but he just wants to yell. He just wants to be loud. He wants to be making a scene. Cyrax just loves that shit. And, um, you know, I got to admit, uh, I love to watch it. It's quite the spectacle. You got to love watching a, a predator freak the fuck out. But we're not done yet with the Cyrax freakouts. We're going to look at another little clip here of Cyrax again explaining why he's not a pedophile in, in really in really terrible detail. Like, he never explains it good, and he just kind of makes himself sound even worse. But let's just look at it and see how Cyrax looks at himself. What up, y'all? So, we got something to fucking, to fucking talk about. Okay. First off. Y'all motherfuckers that are over here calling me a pedophile, y'all need to knock that shit the fuck off. For real. Y'all need to knock that shit the fuck off right now. Second off, my family is getting sick of y'all calling me a fucking pedophile. As was previously mentioned, Cyrax is a third generation pedophile, grandfather was a pedophile, father was a pedophile, so you know, the family's probably heard it quite a lot, so you can imagine that they're sick of hearing it by now, it's been three generations of being told this, and Cyrax isn't doing them any help, because you know, you could have been different, but you just had to be this way. It ain't just, it ain't just me no more, it ain't just my mom, it ain't just my stepdad, it's my whole fucking goddamn family. Trust me, my whole family knows about what's going on, and they're fucking tired of you motherfuckers doing this shit. Like, I definitely bet his family is tired of all the harassment they're probably getting, like the phone calls and all that. I'm not gonna discount that. But it's like, if they were really, really tired of it, like, if they couldn't, like, if they were staying up all night, couldn't get no sleep because of it, if they were really that sick of it, they would have pulled Cyrax off the internet a long time ago, and not just sat here and let him scream at everyone else online. Like, it's such a naive thought process, you know, 
if his grandparents really didn't think that the people weren't going to listen to Cyrax yelling at them, they should just pull Cyrax away and go, all right, no more fucking internet for you. Like, it's so clear that you just, you keep pissing everybody off and we're never going to get a good night's sleep, so no more internet. And they, they just can't do that. Y'all need to fuck off. Second off, if I really was a fucking pedophile, which I'm not, that night that the fucking cops showed up here about the bullshit, guess what? I would have been arrested. It's really funny to see Cyrax say, you know, here's why I'm not a pedophile. Because if, if I was, you know, when the cops showed up, I would have been arrested. And, you know, he's kind of pulling his Ross the pedophile card here. Like, when the cops showed up, he didn't tell them what he was saying on camera just a few minutes ago. He wasn't saying the whole, you know, I admit it. I messed up. I owned up to my mistake. I shouldn't have done that. No one's perfect. But, like, you know, he didn't tell the cops that. He probably just said, oh, I'm being trolled and all these people are saying this about me. But, you know, on here, he'll scream and rant and say that, you know, yeah, he fucked up. Yeah, he did it. But that's not, you know, it, it's everyone else's fault. You know, he's not blaming everyone else then. He's just keeping fucking quiet, I bet. But then again, that's just me being stupid, you know, it's Cyrax, he can't keep his mouth shut for a second, so he's probably telling the cops that, you know, yeah, I did this, I messed up, I messed up, if they ever confronted him on this, and they just don't fucking care because they look at the guy and go, uh, okay, whatever, you know, they should take it seriously, but they probably look at the dude and go, yeah, I don't think he's much of a threat, he looks like he's fucking, he'll, he'll his leg will break if he tries to run too fast. Second off. If I really was a pedo, then why is it not on my fucking record? Think about that. If I really was a fucking pedophile, why is it not on my goddamn record? I have no record of being a pedophile. I am not a pedophile. The police here have even said that I am not a fucking pedophile. I showed them everything. And they said the same thing I said. If anyone's the pedophile, it would be Masshole Reports. You can always tell Chance is lying whenever he says, and so-and-so agreed with me, because nobody ever agrees with his batshit ideas. So when he says the cops agree that the person who exposed him for being a pedo is the pedo, you obviously know that he's just making all that up. But yeah, Cyrix is trying to use the excuse that, you know, I've never been caught and it's never been proven that I'm a pedo, so that means I'm not one. Which, you know, granted, that that's a fair case for most people. But most people don't have fucking text logs come out with them talking to a 14-year-old. So, you know, it's, it's very... These things are very circumstantial. And for Cyrax, the circumstances look like, you know, it, it looks like a fucking pedo. One of the things that Cyrax does when he's really mad at people is that he'll parrot exactly what they're saying about him and say it back to them. So here you can see what the masshole girl, the girl Kate, the one who exposed him for being a pedo, he's now saying that Cyrax and the cops agree that, you know, she's actually the pedo. So you can see that Cyrax is just about willing to say, or and you're about to find out soon, do anything to this person. And um, let's just jump right into it now and hear a phone call where Music Biz Marty is calling Cyrax to let him know that the hit's going out on, on old mass whole report. And he just needs to get some clarification on if it's cool from Cyrax. So let's hear what Cyrax has to say about a hit being taken out on this person. Uh, the person who is accusing Cyrax here of being, uh, being a pedo. Yeah. There's just kind of one complication. And I don't know how you feel about this. But... What's that? Um, they, they don't want to leave any witnesses. And what do you mean witnesses, man? There is no witnesses. Well, I'm just saying, I think she's going to probably be at home when this happens. Well, do whatever you got to do, man. I don't give a fuck what you do. You didn't, just remember, man. You did this order. It didn't come from me. Okay. This is all, man. Like all right, I said, so from here on out, it's your call. I got nothing to do with it. Okay. Um, so let me... And it's not that, not that I'm trying to be a dick. I just don't want to involved in any criminal shit. You know what I mean? No, I hear you. I hear you. So... <laughs> This is this is genius. It really is. So Cyrax 
Cyrax is, uh, he's telling Marty, you know, that, that he, he's cool with whatever Marty has to do. Whatever he has to do to get rid of all the witnesses of this situation, you know. Gotta take him out, doesn't matter. All Cyrax is worried about is going to jail. That he's trying to say to Marty, you know, do what you gotta do, I'm fine with whatever. But, you know, just remember, I'm not involved in this, I'm not saying nothing. When, if he didn't want this woman getting killed at any moment, he could have just said, you know, fuck you, Marty, like he always does, and hung up the phone, but no. Now he's, you know deep down he is gung-ho about this. So, I guess in order to avoid that, let's speak hypothetically here. Um, and we'll use the Hitler example, you know, because I think that's a great analogy. Like, if it was 1935... Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I do like what you want, and honestly, I do like what you... Sammy, if you really think about it, she kind of is. If you really think about it, I mean, the people that she's fucked over and the people that she's hurt, so I get where you're coming from with that. So they're using Hitler here as an example, and it actually is, it's a pretty, it's a good example to bring up when you consider how many times Cyrax name drops Hitler when talking to Marty or arguing with Marty saying, you know, Hitler is a sink compared to you, Marty. And it shows that Cyrax really doesn't understand like just how terrible Hitler was for him to say that someone like Marty is a sink compared to him. But you know, in Cyrax's mind, anyone who, who goes against Cyrax may as well be as bad as Hitler. They're the worst person on the face of the earth. And when Marty says to Cyrax, you know, just think of it like this, you know, if you could go back in time and kill Hitler because of all the terrible things he did to people, would you? And Cyrax is like, yeah, you know, I think we do have to take out Masshole because of all the terrible, terrible things she's done to people. What people? Well, just Cyrax, obviously, but that still makes her just as bad as Hitler. So to him, it completely justifies it. And when Marty brings it up to him, you even hear him saying like, yeah, you know, you're 100% you're right. She definitely is that bad and we should do this. So it's just, it just shows you Cyrax's line of thinking and how fucking selfish the man is. It's anyone who wrongs him may as well be the worst piece of shit on earth. So I guess it becomes a, a, just a little bit more complicated, um, but I still think the answer remains that if you had to kill Hitler and his wife and kids to kill Hitler, I would be. I would think that that would be something that would be okay. Yeah, like, you know, like I said, like, I don't want any harm to come to the kids or anything. But, you know, if it comes to it, it has to come to it, you know? Like, I'm not trying to be an evil dick here. No. I'm really not. I just, like I said, I don't care what you do. Like I said, this is not my call. You're the shot caller on this, sure. not me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I, I never really realized how dark this went. Like, So Cyrax would be willing to take out this woman and her kids if it meant that, like, you know, everyone would stop talking about the fact that he's a fucking pedo. <laughs> so it's it's just amazing, like, because you can even hear it. He's still trying to he's still trying to put the blame on Marty, though, you know? Like, even though Cyrax would be cool with it and you gotta do what you gotta do, you know, he's not trying to sound like an evil dick or nothing because, you know, obviously it wouldn't be an evil dick move to take take out the kids too but you know at the end of the day it's all marty's plan and everything so cyrax you know he has nothing to do with this but if you want to do it that's cool marty that's that's all well and good this is the, the way this dude thinks it's it's so, it's so fucking funny he really is like a wannabe super villain he, if he could if he could be he would be. i have no person that's raised man like this is your thing dude you got no, it like i said do whatever you think Whenever you feel you have to, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I think... And whenever you... I think if you put it like this, too, that, you know, because Kate's got to go, it would almost be cruel to have her kids have to grieve and mourn. It would almost just be better if they were put out of it with her. You know, that's the sick way of looking at it, but I, I, I think that's... Yeah. I think it's got to be done. And there is another thing... You know, there. Uh, I'm not trying to get involved in any criminal shit here, but yeah. believe it or not, I do have a very twisted, fucked up mind. Yeah. So, like, what I'm thinking is, like, I know it's going to sound pretty fucked up, don't get me wrong, sure. but, you know, accidents have been known to happen on a highway or whatever. You sure. know, accidents have been known to happen. <laughs> <laughs> that on that, like I said, bro. I'm sorry. 
Cyrax's fucking thought process is the funniest goddamn thing. It's like, look, I'm not trying to do anything illegal, but if you're going to kill this person's family, let me give you a very specific situation in which I think you could do a good job at it with, which has to do with the highway. <laughs> Dude, like, like I said, this was, uh, the fact that Cyrax really thought all oh, this shit was legit is amazing. And then when you remember that he's willing to do all this to, to get rid of the person who's telling everyone the truth about what he said. Like, Cyrax is a terrible, terrible person. And that's the moral of this video. One of the worst people out there, Cyrax. All the things he'd be willing to do to get the shit he did himself, put it under wraps. The shit he did himself being as terrible as it is. Cyrax is just <laughs> you don't you don't want to run into Cyrax in a dark alleyway not because he'd fight you or anything but because you know he'd probably bite you or something you know you have to wiggle your arm to try to get him off you like a you know like kind of like a raccoon maybe like a rat but you know you just you don't want to run into him that's the moral of the story you, just, you don't want to see him if he's there you might get like a kick out of it and be like oh look at that silly little thing but um, for the most part, you just don't, you just want to go about your day and avoid all types of Cyraxes. But that's why you come to this channel because I, I I'll look at this shit for you and we'll and I'll, I'll have some for you, all of us to laugh about here. And I hope you guys were able to laugh at this, even though it was some pretty sick shit being said. At the end of the day, it's still Cyrax being a fucking fool. So if you can sit back, get stoned, maybe have a couple drinks and laugh about it, that's all that matters because it's. It's just the wacky world of Cyrax, ladies and gentlemen, and it's always gonna get wackier. The dude's a fucking, he, he's one hell of a character. Creepy character, but uh, one, one crazy creepy character he is. I want to give shouts out to Vanessa, Liz Vendor, Club Doom, Cody Hale, the Ghostbusters fans, Sky, Scaly Schisms, the Echo Spectre, Worman Bjornsson. Mick Surly, Akiba's Beat Fan, The Night Owl, Kaitan, Churlish, Isaiah, Fiendland's Party Place, and Music Biz Marty's Bong. And speaking of Music Biz Marty, I'll have all the best Cyrax channels linked in the description below if you want to go watch more of these, uh, these great videos on Cyrax. All these channels below will have it. And there's tons more out there that I'm probably missing out on, but there, there's just a lot of good Cyrax content out there. So if you guys are, if you guys are liking it, definitely go out and find some because it's some funny shit. But yeah. All those people I mentioned are goats, and all of you who made it to the end here, you're a goat as well. I say it at the end of every one of these videos, but I can't thank you guys enough for watching this whole shit, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. You know, today's Friday. At least when I'm recording this, it's Friday. So the weekend's just beginning. If the weekend's already ending, then hey, look forward till next weekend, because it'll be here before you know it. But this weekend, this weekend is Labor Day weekend. It's the last real big weekend of the summer, so I hope you guys enjoy it, you know. It's been a hot summer. It's been a hot Someone almost fucking everywhere. But you know, it's going to be coming to an end soon. The holidays are going to be coming up. There's always something to look forward, ladies and gentlemen. There's always something to look forward to, no matter what it is. So you always got to find that one thing, look forward to it, and then life becomes fun. And uh, yeah, and that's about that. So I hope you guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week, great rest of your weekend, you know, whatever you're doing tonight, spark one up, have some drinks, order whatever your favorite dinner thing is, make your favorite dinner thing, I don't know, watch your favorite show, watch your favorite movie, and just have a good ass time, my friends. So I'll see you on the next one, and until then, take care.